Jay Cloddington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Sri and Aaron, and we're talking mobility and printing. And kind of to kick this off, I'd like to ask, what are you guys defining as mobility? Because that's kind of a big buzzword. Yeah, you know, anything mobile has, let's say, six attributes. One, it has to be portable, right? Yeah, it should work without connecting to, let's say, a power socket. Uh, second, it should have contextual awareness, you know, like have something like a GPS and it knows where you are and things like that. Uh, the third one is it should have a lot of sensors. You know, uh, you know, you take your phone, it's got like five to nine sensors, depending on the kind of phone that you carry. Um, in addition to that, it has to be in some shape, way or form connected to the social media. And last but not the least, anything that's mobile has a huge component of the cloud, right? Because a mobile device is constrained and most of the computing could potentially be offloaded to the cloud. So those are the attributes of mobile. And then kind of the big pieces of, uh, of what makes the cloud interesting. Uh, could, you, could you kind of go into those a little bit for me? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, with mobile, I, I think Sri hit it right on, on the mark, um, particularly the, the last item with respect to uh, the connectivity to the cloud being such a critical element of how we would define mobile. And, you know, the way that we're looking at mobile f with respect to the cloud strategy is you know, really from the end user standpoint, it's there's there's a demand for anytime, anywhere access from these devices. And the the combination of the mobility of the device with the connectivity to all of the data and the, the documents, all of the, basically all of the content that the mobile worker is looking for, that combination is a critical part of what enables and, and frankly drives a lot of the mobile adoption. Um, anytime, anywhere access is critical and, and also, the ability to, um, to get, frankly, to get work done in a mobile context, regardless of, of where you are. So all of that together, I think, is, is part of uh, what's core to a mobile definition. And so what are the kinds of things that we're seeing that are, that are kind of this, uh, the, the future of mobile uh, here at HP? Well, um, one of the big things right now is the age of context, where search is done for you, not done by you. And the search results are actually based on your preferences, right? Um, and so contextual computing is huge. Another example of contextual computing is, you know, we wear these wearables, right? You know, that's, that's coming of age at this point in time. So that's one area that we are looking at. You're going to see more and more technologies with context that are built into our devices. So that's one example. Second, we are all aware, right, uh, that we are in a very multi-OS, multi-user environment. So if I were to look around and ask people questions as to the kind of devices that they carry, they'll say, hey, you know what, I may have an iPad, I also have a Windows laptop, and maybe an Android tablet. So, but then, you know, your persona is owned in the cloud, right? Because you could watch Netflix on your iPad and then move on to your Windows 8 tablet and you could continue watching the same movie where you had stopped. It's because your state function is stored in the cloud, right? So that's the second area, right? You know, how you can actually seamlessly go from one device to the other, independent of what operating system is running on it. The third one is immersive experiences. You're gonna see more and more uh, gadgets, you know, which will un understand gestures. You know, HP made this announcement with Leap and you know you could actually be so far away from your device let's say you're doing your dishes um, and you're reading something uh, or cooking and looking at recipes you could just do this and it, it you know uh, your tablet will basically move the page so that's another example so we're looking into immersive experiences we are looking into multi-user uh, multi-os we are looking into contextual experiences and uh, you know and aaron can talk to you a little bit more about some of the technologies that have already been imbued into the mobile applications all right let's hear about those yeah absolutely so you know we we talked a little bit about um uh or touched on the cloud and the need for anytime, anywhere access. Well, one of the areas that's really important to the office worker today is cloud-based content management or cloud-based document management. And, and a big driver for that is the explosion of both digital and paper content. 
Um, there's just a tremendous amount of content and you know it, it highlights I think or underscores what uh, Sri was saying around the growing importance of search and, and contextual search and, and how search is done. Now from a mobile standpoint with respect to uh, cloud-based document management, we, we launched a solution in March called HP Flow CM Professional. This is based on autonomy technology. It's great technology that's been proven in the enterprise that um, that we've brought from a on-premise standpoint into the cloud. And we've made, we've made it um, not just available as a, as a cloud application for the office worker, but we've also ensured that we can provide that anytime, anywhere access to the files that workers have on FlowCM Professional from mobile applications. Now this mobile application enables mobile capture via some technology that we call PageLift. Okay? PageLift is image enhancement technology that we've grabbed from HP Labs that really we think raises the game in terms of the of giving office workers the ability to simply go from the, the mobile capture of an image into a digital workflow. And, and what PageLift does is it, uh, it improves the resolution, de-skews, and then, and then basically the, the application, the FlowCM mobile application, ensures that, uh, that the, um, the document is uploaded and becomes a, a, a searchable document in the repository. Um, we offer this in both iOS and in Android, and uh, we think it's going to make a big difference to the, to the mobile worker who is looking for that anytime, anywhere access and the ability to, uh, to keep working regardless of where they are. I think I think that will make a big difference because as I uh, am an Evernote user, and uh, which is a very simplified yep. version of yep. what you're talking about, yep. but it, but it, I can't live without it. Yeah, you know, and I want to also highlight one simple example: mobile printing, right? So, um, you know, printers are not mobile. Uh, there used to be a time when people would carry printers. You know, uh, I can't be bothered carrying a laptop. So, uh, uh, so the point here is, anytime you want to print, right? You want to enable the ability to find a printer that's very close to you and a printer that understands the kind of document you're trying to print and enable secure access to the printer, right? I mean, it's easier said than done. So what we've done is from an app perspective and also imbuing the capability to print within an operating system, we have taken a two-pronged approach and those technologies are already available. For example, there's an app called ePrint, you know, available on Android, uh, Blackberry, iOS, and we have over 10 million downloads. You know, in today's day and age, getting a million out of an app, right? Million downloads out of an app is a Herculean task. You know, for HP, we are like 10 million downloads. You know, uh, HP ePrint is uh, another proof point of innovation and it not only enables the ability for you to print at home to your home printer but also at your office in a very secure way and also on the go you know at FedEx office UPS store and all those locations so that's how we have enabled mobile printing and not asking people to carry printers when they travel so and as a regular ePrint user, I can I can say that my I, my wife, for example, prints absolutely everything from her iPad directly to an ePrint enabled printer if she needs to print. Thank you for doing that, and make sure that you know people buy genuine HP ink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note, I think we'll wrap it up. Thanks, Sri, and thanks, Aaron. Thanks very much. Thank you. Jay.